Hello, Instagram. Hello, Instagram. Hello, Zoom. Man, I think people are feeling just about as uh, tired as I am this morning. There's my dad. Hey, Pops. Just you and me this morning. <laughs> Except for a couple of Instagram people. Hi, folks. Hello, everybody. Let's jump in and maybe we'll have people joining us. If not, hey, get to hang out with dad for 40 minutes. That's awesome. All right. So let's step it back. As always, I'm messing. Hey there, John Short. We got another, another uh, victim here. So let's stand. Take some nice easy breaths. Bring the arms up. Breathe as you come down. And breathe out. Repeat. And breathe out. I got squirt guns in my screen here. Repeat. There's a couple extra folks here. There we go. Good. Now go ahead and take the arms. Nice easy swing here. Wake that up. Just a bit. Nothing too intense just yet. We'll get into the hard stuff in just a minute here. Breathing. Bring the arms in opposition here. Swing one forward, one back. There we go. Nice. All right. Now take the shoulders. Easy, easy circles going back. Start the clock here so they stay on time. Circle the shoulders going back. Get that breath going. And then go the other way. Circle. There we go. Okay, so knee goes high to the opposite hand. Lift it high up. We're not running yet. We're just tapping. Just working that old uh, contralateral movement here. Left hand, right leg. Right hand, left leg. Shoulder to opposite hip. Classic key movement here. Get that... Uh, Cross body movement there, very important. Good. Let's go a little faster. Just a little faster, get just a little bit of circulation going here. Got a little bit of slow start today, so you guys get a little bit of longer warm up. Okay, so let's go ahead and tilt the feet inside and out. And I'm off screen here, but you guys get the idea. We're tilting the outside, blade the edge of the feet, and then the inside to the ball of the foot, like this. Good. All right, good. Let's balance on one foot. Practice balance. If you need to hold on to something, that's cool. Go ahead and lift the leg. Circle that foot. Full circle there. Nice range. Now let's go the other direction. Two, three, four, five. Switch legs. Here we go. Other foot off the ground. Circle the inside. One, two, three, four, five. Let's go the other way. One, two. And five, very nice, okay, good. Let's kick the leg up to the butt, grab the heel, or grab the top of the foot, pull it up to the butt. Heel to the butt, two, two, three, three, yes, six, six, there we go, good. Here we go, let's externally rotate, lift the baby, cradle walk, one, Two, stay tall. Two, pull the leg up to yourself. Don't bring yourself down to your leg. Three, four, four, five, five. Last one each side. Six, and six. There we go. All right, that's nice. Good. Let's go um, little kicks to the opposite hand. So the leg is going to kick up in the direction of your opposite hand. Um, if that's hard for you, just go up part way, right? Go toward the hand. We wanna flex the foot, right? Flex, don't point, flex, all right? Opposite foot, kick up, and take a few reps to feel this. Two, three, three. Just in the direction, four, four, five, five. And you're gonna bring the hand a little higher, six, Six, right? Good. Let's go into stiff like that. Let's walk. Very simple. Extend the arms. 
breathe. Now, this one is one where people hold their breath a lot. And what's interesting, I find, and I've never done the research on this, but when you hold your breath, it's harder to balance. And I think that has to do with loss of fine scale variability. This is my new favorite phrase, fine scale variability, which means your sort of moment to moment ability to make micro adjustments in balance, in muscular control, in neural energy. And when you hold your breath, I think you lose your ability to control that. That's my dime store theory here. And if there's a neurologist uh, on here, you can correct me. But I do believe that holding the breath limits fine scale variability. All right, good. We're loose there, good. Let's work a little bit more shoulders. Golf grip, squeeze the shoulder blades, make them go forward. Ha! My upper back's kind of feeling something today, so I'm gonna go a little bit easier. Good, let's flip it going back. One, two, three, about 24, five, seven, eight, nine, 10, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Good job. Let's go ahead left and right. Now, this is one, I'm definitely gonna limit this because again, I got a little tweak up here. But if you guys are feeling good, you can take it more into a, a full spinal movement here. I'm gonna limit it just to my head. I'm gonna model taking care of myself. Right. What you always recommend that you guys do. Take care of yourself when you get a little tweak. Forward and back. <coughs> yeah, definitely live to exercise another day. Just keep slamming it. Let's go in a circle. Oh yes. And then let's reverse. And that's tight today. That is tight. And not in a good way. All right, one more. There we go. All right. Yeah, that's nice. Good. Six minutes in. Let's give ourselves a little bounce here. Easy bounce. Easy bounce, easy bounce, left and right. Get the old uh, heart rate up just a bit. Let's see who's here. Keep going, keep going. Patricia, I have not seen Patricia in a while. It's good to see her name and face popping up on there. We're going left and right. We're shaking it out. Shake the hands a little bit. Get those wrists moving. Good. And let's go skiing. We're gonna go kind of slaloming left and right with both feet together or close, right? Then we're going forward and back, like we're skateboarding, swallowing on the skateboard. Forward and back, forward and back, forward and back. Back to side to side, let's go a little bit faster, a little quicker, a little more reactive on the ground. And then back to forward and back, a little quicker, a little faster. Good, jump it out with the feet now. Jump it out quick. Good, and then let's do this. We're gonna alternate sides, a little lunge jump. Quick, get that heart rate up. Let's open up those capillaries. Get that core temperature going. Loosen up, get some synovial fluid flowing through the joints. All right, nice job, all right. Good, go ahead and grab yourself a drink if you need it. And if six or eight minutes is all you can handle right now, that's fine. You're all warmed up, your joints are a little more smooth and feeling better, infinitely better than doing nothing. If you wanna keep going, let's keep going. Okay, let's get our mats out. Get ourselves a little glute, a little core, and maybe a little cardio thrown in there. We'll see, we'll start, start with that. I'm gonna clear off my squirt guns here. So I recommend everyone do that, kick your squirt guns out of the way. Okay, so here we go. Let's go down to all fours position. Check your position here, make sure your hands are right underneath your shoulders, right? And your knees are right underneath your hips. You don't want to be here, you don't want to be here, you don't want to be, those thighs and upper arms are vertical. Okay, so we're going to go into the arm opposite leg reach, very simple, 
One leg goes back, the opposite arm comes forward. Okay? Now check it, right? This is surprisingly difficult. You go, oh, I'm perfect, and they're here, right? They're rotating. Check your foot, just like I say every time. Check your foot, make sure it's pointing toward the floor, okay? Bring the arm, lock it out, thumb up to the sky. There. Then bring that down, opposite side. Bring it up. Opposite side. Bring it up. Keep working with that. Work on the precision of this movement, not on the intensity. This is more of a precise movement, learning how to activate those um, posterior muscles properly, right? So, and also to work this little contralateral balance. So keep going. Arm opposite leg. Arm opposite leg. Arm opposite leg. And arm opposite leg. Let's go back to that left leg. Now just kick the left, left, left leg back. Bring it out around to the side. Keep the arm straight. We're working just from the hip joint. Keep kick it back. Bring the knee out to the side. Kick it back. Knee out to the side. Bring that knee to your chest. See if you can articulate the full range of that hip joint, but keep everything else nice and still, right? So don't compensate by bending this elbow. Keep yourself stiff. Last one, and then we go the other direction. Now draw the knee to the chest and bring the leg out to the side and then find that center line in the back. Down, center line. When you find the center line, the toe points toward the ground again. That is so important. Couple more, find the center. Here we go, find the center, good. If that glute isn't working right now and isn't really feeling it, then you either have really strong glutes or you're not quite doing the move right now. Let's go other side, right leg, kick it back, bring it around. I can even feel my left arm wanting to say, hey, I can help by bending here. I can compensate here, I can need help, I can do it. But I'm not gonna let it happen. I wanna work just from the hip joint, right? Really make that glute do its job. Good, let's go the other way. Knee to chest out to the side, kick it one, two, three, four, five. All right, so we're gonna work with a plank. Bring the hands down, the fingers are spread wide. So bring the elbows down to the ground. Check your forearms, make sure they are parallel to each other. Now here, they are parallel, okay? So that's going to feel a little different on the shoulders. Grab the ground so you got a little grip going with your hands. Step the feet back. Arch, or sorry, round the back up. So I'm tucked under here. I'm going to hold on. I'm going to take a breath. I'm going to squeeze my elbows in the direction of my feet. And that's going to fire up my stomach like nothing. All right? Middle of the back should go up toward the sky. I'm rounded up here. I am not arched. I'm rounded, yeah? So everybody thinks that plank is some kind of remedial exercise. You do it like this, that stomach really comes to life here. All right, let's keep going about another 10 seconds here. Really fire it up. Draw those elbows toward the feet. Draw the feet toward the elbows. Fire it up, breathe. Make it work. Good. And time, nice job. Good. Come back to all fours, here we go. Let's go leg out to the side. Go ahead and bring that leg up to the sky and down. I'm going to pump it up. My favorite Jane Fonda variation. Here we go. She was such an icon of fitness. But apparently she stole all of her fitness ideas from her trainer and didn't give her trainer any credit. So what I should do is I should research who that actual trainer was and stop calling it Jane Fonda and call it by the name of that trainer. We're pumping up and down here. We're working that glute. This leg is at the same angle that the glute fibers run. So we don't want to go straight out to the side, we want to go straight back. So do a few more. One, two, I got that in the glute there. Four, and five, nice job. Oh yeah, good. Let's go the other side, spin it around. So you see what I'm doing? I think you get the idea though. 45 degrees out of that length, let's bounce it up here. So that's what I need to find out. Who was Jane Fonda's trainer when she was doing all this stuff? The unsung heroine of all those albums. I believe it was like a, it was an LP. I think that her album was an LP, like a 33 and a half LP. 33 and one third, I should say. All right, let's go about 10 more. One, two, oh yeah, three. Why did I say 10? Four, five, six, seven, come on, eight, 
nine, ten. There we go. All right, good. All right, let's have it up. Here we go. Come on to your back. We're going to work piston legs. So, piston legs. This leg is pulled in close to center line. This leg is out. Toes pointing toward the ceiling. These details are important. Bring the arms up or down here, whichever you like. Because of my back, I'm going to bring the arm here. And then we're just going to pump the legs here like this. And we're going to do a 40 second set. Pull the knee in tight. Work it. Make it go. Make it do its job. Hope everyone is enjoying my lovely white legs here. Keep going. Keep going. Keep these ribs pulled in, right? I don't want these ribs flaring up and out. We want to pull them in, pressing the lower back to the knee. Got about 15 seconds to go. If you're feeling good, go a little faster, but keep that, that whole torso braced and strong. If you're feeling not so good, kick them up at this angle, right? We're just bring them in here. You can ultimately touch them like that. Okay, we're getting there. In time. All right. Well done. We go back to, uh, to a uh, plank. This time a high plank with the hips. All right? The arms are long. The arms are long. We're here. What we do is we lift one leg, bring the knee in across to the opposite elbow, and we bring it back to push it. Lift, bring it in. Lift, bring it in. Lift, and bring it in. You get the idea here, right? Lift. Now, the key here is, as you lift this leg, don't let this butt come up. Keep the body straight. Lift here, just from the hip joint. Keep the rest of you straight, right? Now, if this becomes impossible, just hang for a second in push-up position. Keep that back rounded up, just like we did in the plank, and you should feel your stomach here. You should feel it move. We're gonna do another 15 seconds on this guy. I'm suffering right along with you. Lift it and squeeze it. Lift it, squeeze. Get the squeeze, right? Squeeze, make it work. We're getting there. And time. Well done. Good. All right. We definitely have the center of the body and the glutes fired up. Go ahead and grab yourself a drink of water. Patricia, John Short, James Heffernan, Nancy C. Heffernan. And uh, we will move on with some other stuff. We'll get some legs. We'll get some upper body. It's going to be good. Hopefully people are nice and warm now. A little core temperature is up and we're feeling good. Okay. So squat, squat. Lunge, lunge. Now, we got a little bit of, of, of side um, walking, some, some frontal plane action on this. I'll show you what this looks like. We're gonna take a squat here, extend the arms forward. If you wanna elevate your heels, you can. Right? So if I've got my, it's a little bit awkward, it can be a little bit awkward, but it's doable. So if I wanna do here, I can squat, I can squat like this. So we're gonna double squat, 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 then we'll go right leg. We can come back here if we want. And left leg, okay? If you don't need the dumbbells for the, uh, for the squat, you can put those aside, right? There's our, there's our movement. We're gonna do a full 45 seconds here. So double squat, extend the arms forward, reach back with one leg, step back with the other leg. We got it, right? Squat, squat, lunge, lunge. Squat, squat, reverse. Reverse. There's the move. Keep going. Nice and smooth, right? You want to get as low as you can, ideally on that squat. You want to get that hip crease below the level of your knee. If you can't do that comfortably, you just squat as low as you can, keeping good form. So you want to keep the chest up, extend the arms forward. What you don't want to do is turn to something like this. Around and over. Stay up tall with that chest, right? Squat is a complicated move. Right? People spend their whole career coaching people on a squat practice. Great, good, you're done, nice job, leave that alone. Now, go ahead and grab dumbbells. All right, we're just gonna be simple on this. We're gonna fold over at the hip joints and we're gonna do a simple row like this. Nothing too complicated, right? Now, from the side, I am not shrugging, right? I am not coming up here like this. This is not how you wanna look, right? We don't wanna walk around like that. We wanna keep those shoulders down and back. So let's pull here and extend. Pull and extend. Pull and extend. Pull and down. Good. 
there's our move. Keep going with that. Let's do a 40 second set here. Take it down and then squeeze, right? Be careful as the set goes on. I promise you, you're gonna want, your body's gonna wanna go, well, why don't I stand up a little bit, right? Don't do it, keep it down, right? We're working this hip joint. We're teaching this hip joint how to behave whilst keeping this lower back in a nice flat position, right? So we're doing, a, as, as most of my moves here, we have a multitasker here. This move is doing a lot of different things. Great, you're there, stop. Let's go back to, actually, you know what? Let's hold on to our dumbbells. I wanna do a speed dumbbell curl fast as we can, 20 seconds. Here we go, turn those palms forward, alternating sides. Here we go, three, two, one, alternating sides, speed dumbbell curl, just like that. Oh yeah, good, get right into it. Make sure the arms are getting long at the bottom of the move. They're not, stop, you're not stopping here and making a tiny little move. You wanna keep those arms long, right? And keep the hands turned out, not in hammer style, all right? We're getting there. That's it, time, good job. Squat, squat, lunge, lunge, back to first move. Here we go. Take a breath, all right? We're gonna start in three, two, one. Here we go, take it down twice and step it back. Deep lunge, other way, deep lunge, good. Squat and squat and lunge and lunge. We got it, right? You wanna get that back knee close to the ground when you do your lunch, okay? And you wanna do the speed that works well for you, yeah? So again, you're an Olympic athlete, you're gonna bust, bust through this, you're gonna get 25 reps of this in 45 seconds. If you're not an Olympic athlete, I don't know if there's any non-Olympic athletes on here, but if there are, you can go a little bit slower. You can just make it a smaller squat, smaller range, and a little slower, right? Taking your time. So you adjust to based on what you have today, yeah? And it might be different, it might be different. Good, you're done, nice job. Well done on that. Let's go back to our, um, our row, okay? So grab dumbbells, yeah? Take a breath, let's fold it over, right? We're nice and solid in our stance, parallel shoulder width. Here we go, pull it up, squeeze, and repeat. Squeeze, and repeat. There's your move, stick with that, pull it back, yeah. Hopefully, over this time that we've been working together in this, uh, in this quarantine period, we start to get a greater sense of those muscles in the back, yeah? We tend to be sort of connected to the muscles in the front because we can see them. We see them in the mirror, we go, oh, here we are, right? Anything that's out here, we can deal with. Our hands, right, shoulders, all this stuff. So we tend to gradually turn into this. Hopefully what this movement, this um, part of what this uh, work has done is hold the shoulders back a little bit, give me a little sense of, oh, there's muscles back there, and they're important muscles. Great, stop right there, that's 45 seconds. Okay, now we're back to the curl. Power, speed, curl. Get tall, check your feet. Make sure the parallel shoulder width, turn the palms out. Nice and long, nice and tall, proud chest. Here we go, ready, set, go, fast as we can, alternating sides, okay? Again, I'm gonna kinda just leave this alone because my back is just bugging me a little bit. I worked a little hard on that, but I'll be back. So, 10 more seconds to go, alternating sides, really getting into those biceps. Keeping the hands supinated, turned on their back, not pronated or not neutral grip. We want to go here, turn on their back, going into those biceps, right? Good. Stop right there. Let's do one more set. This is our round seven, eight, and nine. These are the ones that count, okay? So, so Muhammad Ali thinks, uh, right? I don't count the reps until they start hurting. All right, so here we go. Take a breath and go. Let's go squat, squat and lunge, and lunge, right? I'm going really kind of just granny pace, and that's cool, right? That's what I got today, that's what you got today, that's fine. I shouldn't say granny pace because there's a lot of grandmothers out there that are super fit, including at least one on here right now. Okay, keep going, and we'll finish up in about another 10 seconds. So keep going. If you got a little bit more juice left in you, go a little faster. Get a little lower on that squat. Step back a little faster. Go for it. Pick it up just a little bit. This is your third and final set on this. So go for it. Good. Done. Stop right there. Good. Same thing. Final set on our row. Same idea, right? We're going to kind of go for it here because it's our last and third one. When are we going to work our lats for the rest of the day? We don't do it now. Let's do it now. All right? So here we go. 20 seconds. And go, pull, and go for it, pull, pull, 
pull. Really keeping that torso still, really keeping it down, pulling those shoulder, shoulders back, externally rotating those arms, pull those shoulders. You guys should be feeling that with learning that that's what those lats do. Got it, right? So the lats should be just as accessible now to you as those pushing muscles, the pulling muscles, yeah? Just as important. You got shoulder pain, you got uh, postural pain. It's all about working those pulling muscles, yeah? It's not about doing push-ups for a million years. Great, let's keep going about eight more seconds. Work it, nice and still through the torso, nice and long through the spine, pull it back, make it work, and done. Good, let's get tall. Get tall now, check feet, parallel shoulder width, 20 second power curl. Turn the palms out. Here we go, ready, set, go, let's go for it. Right, good, again. My tweaking is my, lower, my back is not helping me. So I'm gonna do this invisible dumbbells. Checking my feet, let's go for it. Bam, 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 bam. Pump it up, pump it up, all right? Keep it going, we're getting there. Three, two, one, kill it. Well done, good. Put your um, dumbbells away or just to the side. Go, here, go ahead and grab yourself a drink of water and we'll move on to some pressing, some glute work. We'll do a little step up here. I haven't touched that in a while. That's fun. And Heidi Rose Robbins is here, ladies and gentlemen. Okay, I'm just gonna, I'm just going to uh, move this over here so you guys can see what I'm doing on my little bench here. Hi. So here's our move. Hope you guys have had a little nice break here. So if you want to hold your dumbbells in this, you can. It's going to give you a little bit more, um, just a little bit more resistance here. We're going to work on a bench. So get yourself a chair, a nice sturdy, steady chair. If that's not in the cards for you, we can go back to a reverse lunge. So here's what you do if you don't have a bench. You just do a reverse lunge into knee up, okay? But we want the bench because we want to do a little bit more variety because we kind of did a reverse lunge just now. So here we are on our nice stone bench here, a mile away from our, from our camera. So here's what we're going to do. We're drive the knee up and then come down. Same leg, drive it up, come down. Same time, same leg, okay? 20 seconds on one side, let's go. Pull it up, okay, bring it out, yeah? And just nine more seconds on this side, and then we'll switch it up, okay? Three, two, one, stop, good. Now, other leg, the leg that was driving up in the air, switches onto the bench, now we we'll drive that one. Let's go, here we go. Good. Not sweating yet. Man, it's not working hard enough. All right. I'm going to pull this up just a little bit. We're getting there. Getting there. Five seconds. Four, three, two, and done. Well done. Okay, good. I'm going to work with the uh, overhead press now. Very simple. So we're just going to work this. Now, tilt the dumbbells a little bit in towards your shoulders. Bring them up and kind of together at the top. Down bring them up and together. Simple overhead press all day long, okay? This is your classic bodybuilding, Olympic weightlifting, the whole thing. Just working these shoulders here, right? I sort of think that you like, we have to earn our working of the pushing muscles, the mirror muscles, yeah? You gotta earn them by working the legs and the back. So I typically will work those, move, move, those muscles first. They also stabilize the shoulder joints so that when you're doing the press, it'll actually feel a little better. Good, let's keep going about another 10 seconds. I'm gonna move my tripod up so we're a little closer. It's a beautiful shot right there. Good, all right, that's a little better. Good, hold it right there, well done, good. We're gonna go back to our step up. Just gonna do two moves in this one, all right? Back to our step up, come on over. All right, so here we are. Let's go right leg up on your elevated surface. Take a breath, let's go, 20 seconds. Now notice my arms are working in opposition. So as my left leg comes up, my left arm comes down. My right arm comes up. That should feel pretty comfortable. We're just keep going, we got about five seconds to go. Three, two, one, stop. Left leg up there. Let's do this side, ready, set, go. You see these, these sets are short, so that means what you can do is just blast it a little further, a little harder, and faster. All right, let's keep going. 10 more seconds on this side, and we gotta press it. All right, how are we doing on time? 10 more minutes to go, that's awesome, good. 
Five seconds. Done. Stop. Good. Another quick five seconds. Grab your dumbbells. I'm going to press them overhead. Here we go. Here we go. So, check your feet. Make sure they are parallel with shoulder width, right? Bring them right here. T tilt the dumbbells in a little bit towards your shoulders. Press them up. Press them up. Press them up. That's the move. It's so simple, ladies and gentlemen. Keep with that. I'm going to tell you, yes, I know we got 10 more minutes. Thank you. Keep it going. Get that nice arcing movement. They're coming together, right? You want the movement of the arms to kind of mimic the movement of these shoulders, which is not a straight line. It's in this lovely arc. So the arms kind of do this, almost like you do when you do a jumping jack. All right? Three, two, one, stop right there. Let's do our third and final set. Step up to balance, overhead press. Here we go. This time we're starting with left leg first. Left leg on our elevated surface. 20 seconds, ready? Starting in three, two, one. Let's go, drive it up. Bring it down. Drive it. Drive it. Don't move. Here we go. So we got, this is a hip dominant movement. So you go, well, what, why are we doing so many different leg things? Two basic categories of leg movements. Hip dominant, where the primary mover is your glute and your hamstring, and knee dominant, where the prime mover is your quad. Okay? Got to do both types of movements. Great. Stop right there. I'll switch to the other leg. That was 25 seconds. You got the bonus five seconds. All right. So now we're doing right leg up on the bench. Let's start it. Three, two, one. Let's go. Drive it up. Drive it up. Here's our move. Keep going. Nice and strong. Get that nice um, oppositional movement through the arms, and the movement does become a little bit easier, okay? So again, we're working coordination, we're working balance, we're working this nice contralateral movement, opposite shoulder to opposite hip. Good job, five seconds to go. Five seconds, three, two, one, stop. Good job, dumbbells, overhead press. Nice and tall, check the feet, make sure the parallel shoulder width, nice and tall. Bring the dumbbells up to here. Here we go, crank, crank them up. Now, what we want, check this, keep working. Check this, make sure we're not leaning way back like this, okay? Make sure we're not leaning right way back. Ideally, these arms are coming up even with the ears, even with the ears, so we're here, yeah? Not everyone has that range of motion, okay? So one thing you can do to make it a little bit easier, turn the hands parallel. If you're having trouble reaching up without leaning way back, Turn the hands to parallel, that will help, okay? And what I'd rather see is the arms going here than a big lean back, meaning, in other words, the arms are kind of doing up at an angle instead of here, rather than compensating here by leaning back, okay? So you make the call based on your mobility today. Let's keep going just a couple more seconds. Yes, I can give physiological lessons while I coach here. Good, stop, well done, good. There's our move, go ahead and grab a drink of water. We'll do one more little brief cardio thing, just a trifle, um, before we get into uh, cool down here. Okay, tilt my screen here. Uh, okay, so brief cardio. So, this is the famous uh, mountain climber into um, high knees. Mountain climber into high knees, very simple move. You're sort of doing the same move uh, standing, and uh, kind of in um, a horizontal position. So let's get this started. So uh, mountain climber, as we may remember, you're starting in push-up position. The knees alternately come to the chest. High knees is just standing doing high knees. So here we go. We're going to do 20 seconds uh, on these two moves, 10 seconds in between, two rounds. Here we go. Starting in three, two, one. Draw those knees to the chest. We go for one. OK? Now, that's our move on that one. You, you work at your level, right? We're going to do a total of four rounds, two moves of each, right? Or two rounds of each. So work at your level. If you want to really push it, go for it right from the beginning. That five seconds on this one. Three, two, one. Nice. Good. Now just come right up. Heart rate should already be kind of up here. We're going to go into this one now. Ready? Three, two, high knees. Right? Bringing it up. Going fast. Yeah? Your call, right? Your degree of speed. This is all I got today because of that bad thing. But you might be twice as fast as me, which is great, right? Again, I'm not a standard for anything. 
Five seconds to go. Three, two, one, time. Good job. Let's go back to our first cardio move. Hopefully you're getting the idea by now. We've only done 40 seconds. That's not that hard. Come on down. Starting mountain climbers again in three, two, one. Let's do it. Here we go. Drive it up. Go on for it, right? Push. Your pace, your intensity, yeah? Remember, this is your last 40 seconds of the whole thing, so if you got something left, go ahead and push it a little bit. Five seconds to go on this. Drawing those knees ultimately up to your chest. Three, two, one, stop. Good job. Come slowly up to standing. Shake it out. Last 20 seconds, okay? Remember that when you're doing this. Don't hold anything back here. Let's go. Here we go. Bring it up. Let's go fast. Bring it up. Come on. Last 20 seconds of the day. All out, all ease and comfort from here on out. Bring it over. Go fast. How fast can we draw those knees out? Here we go. Nine seconds to go. Let's go. Come on. Go. Quick. Blast it off the ground. Come on. Keep going. Work those hands. Time. Good job. That's it. That's it. 807. Grab yourself a drink of water. Take a couple deep breaths. Good work. All right. That's not easy what I just had you do. But look, no equipment. And now at 8.07 in the morning, it's finito. Or for some of you, 11.07 in the morning. All right, we're gonna do a quick little cool down here. Guys did great, really appreciate you being here. Check your feet, parallel, shoulder width. Bring the arms here, bring them up. Okay, now drop slowly down, all the way over to the rolled over position. Let that back. Breath right there. I'm gonna tilt my camera again. Breath right there. All right. Rolling it over. Right leg goes back. Sink into that deep lunge. Back leg is straight. Straight through the spine. Deep breaths right there. Let's go left leg back. Now we're into a down dog. Check your feet. Are they parallel and shoulder width here? You can't drill that too much. Let's go right leg forward. Sink it down. Work that hip on that side. Check your shin, your right shin. Is it, is it vertical? Is it, is it uh, upright? Pointing toward the sky? Good. Let's go back to down dog. Nice and easy. And then slowly walk the feet up toward the hands. Come back into that forward bend position. Hang out there just for a moment. Slowly roll it up. That's good. All right, folks. That's what we got today. Thank you very much for being here. Thanks very much for taking care of yourself. I hear all your 600 muscles and your 100 something bones saying, thank you very much for working out today because you feel better, got some vitality, got some, uh, juice flowing through, some energy. So thanks a lot, have a great day. Appreciate everyone being here and I will see you guys on the Friday. Tell your friends, let's get this, uh, let's get this thing, thing going even more, even more popular than it is. Thanks a lot everyone, have a great day.